Worsley uh, on the Bridgewater Canal on the way out of Manchester to join the um, Liverpool and Leeds Canal. It's worth a stop. Very, very interesting Industrial Revolution heritage, hence the um, reason Bridgewater built this canal. These days it's a modern. Hello? These days it's a sleeper commuter town stroke village for Manchester. But the likes of uh, Ryan Giggs and David Beckham all had some time there when they were playing for Man U. I found it really, really interesting. Uh, one little thing that stuck in my mind is how they had children down in the uh, mines as young as 10. And that wasn't made illegal until 1849. So it was a hard old life and we moan about our life these days. No comparison. Again, this is incredibly interesting. I won't stand here reading it all out, but if you want to pause the video to read it, it's worth a read. But to sum it up, it started out as a quarry and ended up being miles and miles and miles of underground tunnels where they extracted coal. And that's footprints of uh, boats that would have been here loading up back in the day. Again, I'll put a link in the description. Again, so worth a read if you're interested in our industrial past. That's a relic of a bygone age. That's just a shot of it from a lower angle. And another tunnel over there on the far right hand side. And that's a more modern miner's hat with the light in his helmet rather than the lantern that they used to carry. That's a replica miner's lamp. Yet more information. I'll put links in the description for all of this. In the beginning they used candles. So they started blowing themselves up with all the gases down there. And that's a view of that beautiful old house that's on the bend on the canal. These mines were still in operation right up until 1968. And the big three-storey building is reputed to be Worsley's oldest surviving building. It was built around 1725 and predates the canal. And that's it. And it now sits on the canal. And that's the uh, Delphin from down below on the other side of the road.
back out onto the canal. That's an interesting ladder arrangement. What's going on there then? Bit of a loping? Oh, up close and personal look at the house you can see from the canal on the bend. And it's right by the Alphabet Bridge. And they've done the bridge with each step. Has a letter of the alphabet on it. It's called the Packet House, Grade 2 listed. And terraced houses on the side were for the um, Duke of Bridgewater's workers. Really unusual. And there's another interesting thing, the um, packet house, the Tudor building, was a ticket office for um, people to go into Manchester on the canal. For took two and a half hours. And that house over there with 1851 above the door on this busy road now, sorry about the traffic, there's loads of it, um, used to be the old police station. It's, it's still a blue light up in the, um, in the porchway there and it's called the Old Nick. Have to duck your head to walk under this bridge. You see these hoists all the way along the Bridgewater Canal. And they're in strategic places where they um, have massive great beams of wood that they clearly lift into the canal whenever they need to close a section off and dry it out for maintenance, I guess. You've taken a lot of notice of me, that's for sure. Oh, coming out of Worsley, it's a really beautiful green corridor with um, cycle routes, rural surroundings, and we're only a spit from Manchester. You haven't got no far to get out in the great outdoors, it's uh, really good. some sort of lock, flood lock. Where are some sculptures of the famous canal entrepreneurs, Francis Egerton, 1736 to 1803, John Gilbert, 1724 to 1795, James Brindley, of course. Seventeen sixteen to seventeen seventy-two. I wonder what he would make of it all now. How the canals are for leisure, more than commerce. Blimey, that was a bend in the canal. It's been dead straight for ages and now it goes back into another dead strain section so this is Wolseley Marina and the 
area we've just gone through is Worsley Woods, which is um, 85 acres, really tranquil landscape, cycle tracks, nature trails, sculptures, and it's all within, as I say, a spit of Manchester and close to the M62 motorway. You couldn't really make it up how, how rural and tranquil that is. It's very nice. I'll stop waffling on now. That's the day trip. Walled up and go and have lunch. establishment, the moorings. Got room for a few punches there. It says it's the biggest beer garden in Booktown. I kind of believe them, it's massive. It's too far away, you wouldn't have called it, but it was a her heron on the bank and a dog saw it and he's come and chased it and he's jumped in the canal, the dog, and can't get out. He's really struggling to get out. Just see that bloke's pulling him out now. That was really funny because it was a <laughs> it was a flying leap that dog did. <laughs> of course, the heron just took off. <laughs> Dog will be in the Olympics. <laughs> there was a heron. A heron. Yeah. And the dog saw it and he ran Bam. for it and he literally took off and jumped. But of course the heron flew away. And um, dogs in the water could get out because the banks are so thick. But he did he literally once again you meet a boat at the narrowest point, it's incredible. I haven't seen a boat all day. Thank you. Always seen to meet a boat at the narrowest point. Yes, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> to 
so we're in Astley Green which um, has a museum of mining which we're about to go and see but this whole, but this whole area had extensive coal mines for generations hence the um, Bridgewater Canal <laughs> 